Hi everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about how to safely and appropriately walk with a cane after knee replacement surgery. Hi everyone, so today we're talking about how to use a cane after knee replacement surgery. So this may apply to a lot of you. Not necessarily everyone is going to use a cane after surgery. Sometimes, um, a lot of times, you'll start out with using a walker after surgery or maybe crutches after surgery if you have a lot of pain and weakness and just um, difficulty getting around. Or if you're getting around fairly okay, you might start out with a cane. Um, if you do start with a walker, you'll probably, within a week or shortly after that, transition to using a cane and hopefully eventually transition to using no assistive device, especially if you didn't use a device before surgery, that's a very reasonable and achievable goal. So let's talk about how to use a cane appropriately, safely, effectively after knee replacement surgery. So first thing is you want to look at the height of the cane. So the way to do that is if you stand, normal stance, and you let your arms relax at your side, the handle of the cane should come right to the crease of your wrist. So when you bend and straighten your wrist, that little crease, that's where the handle of the cane should be. So if it's too high, you don't want it too high because it's going to start um, making your have this chicken wing and it might hurt your shoulder some. If it's too low, you're going to start leaning and walking um, kind of with this lean to the side. So this is a good height. You want kind of this 20 degrees about bending your elbow when you're holding the cane. So a lot of people, they'll hold the cane on the wrong side. They'll put it on the same side as the side that they had knee replacement surgery. And actually, you want the cane to be on the opposite side of the side you had surgery. And the reason for this, it comes down to physics and some moment arm and mathematics. I won't get into it here, but just trust me, you want it on the opposite side. It's going to provide more support when you're walking. And there's a couple ways to do it, but probably the most common way to do it is what you're going to do is you're going to start with the surgical side and you're going to do the surgical side and the cane are going to move together. So it's cane and surgical leg and then you're going to step with the other leg. Cane and surgical leg and then the other leg. So I'll show you this from the side. So again, cane and surgical leg, other leg. One, two, one, two. A lot of people, they like to think about the, the how many contact points. So two contact points, then one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Now, if you're really struggling with your mobility and really having a tough time walking and getting around for pain or stiffness or whatever reason, you can do a way that is a little more stable, but you're going to be walking a little bit slower and it's not as normal a gait pattern. But with this way, what you would do is cane, surgical leg, opposite leg. Cane, surgical leg, opposite leg. Cane, surgical leg, opposite leg. Now this is, again, for someone who really has some more mobility limitations, can't walk as much with that normal pace. As you can see, it's a little bit slower, a little bit more uh, technical a little bit more mental gymnastics with it. For the vast majority of people though, it's going to be that first way. So it's going to be cane and surgical leg together, and then opposite. One, two, one. I'll show it from the side one more time. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, two, one. So it takes a little practice to get used to, but um, can be really an effective way to have some stability, have that little bit of support, but still work on that more normalized gait pattern and walking without 
having that support of something a little more heavy duty, such as a rolling walker. Thank you very much for watching everyone. As always, be sure to leave your comments and questions. I try to get back to everyone and be sure to subscribe if you don't already. Thank you very much and take care.